Hello and welcome back to 7 Days. I'm not only 2-5, this is a very noisy cement mixer, and this is Big Brain Play. We've got cement making, concrete making, we've got cobble crafting in here, we've got loads of blocks, and we're building a horde base. Because it's the day 21 horde today, let's head over to the horde base, finish it up. We're probably going to do the design from um, the end of last series where we did the end game horde base. We'll just do the bare bones of that. Still at 600. Okay. Feels like these aren't growing. Do these max out at 600 this type? Not a big deal. Either way. Because I'm not upgrading all the way from wood this time. So we're going to just get the bare bones of this put down. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. There we go. The stairs are in. The walk is built up. This is all solid. This is where we're going to stand. And we need to put in the hallways next on the each side over here, which is going to carry the fence posts. So let's start with that. I think this should be fine like that. And we're going to need to do the same on the other side. Yeah, as long as there's like an actual gap between that and that, it should be fine, I think. Let's right, start digging out the foundation. This is sand after all, so easily destroyed probably worth putting in some floors and stuff this horde base i want to take us through to the end game now just with additions and upgrades so that's why i'm going through a bit more effort with this one there we go the footprint's in that's as big as it's getting footprint wise uh, let's head over and just get some more cobble and stuff a going we need to get a quest reward as well actually so we'll do that as well we'll grab this and turn these into more cobble blocks. Good stuff, okay. More concrete to play with. Very nice. Let's go get rewarded. For our sterling efforts. You must. Um, again, out of these, it's uh, steel and the crafting magazines. Uh, we don't want anything else from you right now. Forge your head, wiring, sharp sticks, okay. So as you can see, we've... When building this, the key thing in this is redundancy. I don't want to have any chance of this kind of collapsing, really. Or a very low chance, I should say. Invariably, if you uh, build something like this, you get the question, how have you got so much resource? Um, the answer is digging out pits to build a crafting base. I got loads of stone and clay out of that, so just grinding, mining, digging. You got to do it. If you want to do the big build, you got to do it. All right, it's all up to a level now. Pretty exciting. Uh, these are all going to be dart traps eventually. Let's see here. How high do we want this? Two, three, probably. So dart traps can fire through bars, right? I'm going to go with yes. And we're almost out of blocks again. I think we'll be okay though. We've got plenty more cobble and stuff where that came from. Um, these are going to be ripped out and uh, replaced with bars, but I want to be able to put my fence posts in first. And this back wall is going to be plates. Just for space and saving resources. Alright, out of blocks, but we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing. We've got four fence posts right here. Uh, it'd be good to have more than that, but main ones are right here. Put the generator like right here, that'll be fine. I haven't brought any engines. Alright, we need to head back anyway. Got a few things we need to pick up. Okay, we're hydrated. What are we wearing, clothes wise? BDU top. A pretty good heat resist. The suit pants haven't, have they? No, they've got terrible heat resist. Oh, we can make shorts. Okay. Maybe we do that. 50 cloth one sewing kit. Shorts. Surely they're going to help get this ridiculous heat down. And more cobble here. That's good. That's what we needed. More blocks. Oh, I can see a wandering horde coming in. Yoo-hoo.
Nice. See, plus 6.4 heat resist. Yeah, just wear them for a minute. This tank's up. Wear that as well. We're going to be here all the time now, so we might as well just switch over to these things. We'll keep these things back for another day. Make more cobble. Do it. We need it. It's astounding how much you go through. Right, we came here for an engine anyway. We've got two. That'll do. Yeah, we might keep more fence posts, but we shouldn't need more than this for tonight, I don't think. What's good about this is, you grab this, you're in round. It'll be red now, but if we come right round here... There we go. Up in this block, we can uh, do it. It's going to be hard to do the rest of them in that case. After we've placed a few more blocks, maybe we go back and see if we can craft a few quick fence posts. Right, these blocks here are going to be dart traps eventually. That's right. I'm trying to remind myself what I'm doing. Right, we should have enough blocks to do this then. So, oh, actually, we haven't done the roof over here. Uh, let's do that quickly. Going to need a few more blocks to finish this out. Let's do 100. Keep a little bit back for repairs. Cancel these. Because now we need to look at fence posts. All right, so we have this and this and these. Oh, yeah, let's make an iron hatch. Or if I forget. Let's do fence posts. Just don't do that there. But we can make 136. We don't need that many, obviously. I think we need like 16, maybe. We'll see what's ready after that. Yeah, we don't have any dart drops in here. That's fine. So we'll just leave the building blocks there as a kind of makeshift thing for now. We should have what we need to fill in the blocks that we need to do now. We have got a little shotgun auto turret we can put in here as well. And an SMG turret here. And one we can check upstairs as well, if need be. You know, for vultures or whatever. Right here would be fine. I'm going to get an old scope of the thing there. Right, so before we can put the bars down on here, we're just waiting for fence posts to craft over there. So we might as well get some key blocks up to concrete, eh? Whoops, lost well, steel. We've got two skill points. Uh, looks like I've just got better barter to go, so... We'll do that boring one, then we'll be on to strength then. That's pretty cool. So we're putting our storage there. That's good. And there's our little hatch. If worse comes to worst. Alright, we're getting somewhere. For the steel in there so we don't do any more accidental upgrades actually. So the fighting position here and the stairs are the most important thing. But we'll do a bit of that. Uh, let's go back and get what fence posts we can. A bit more concrete as well. Love it. 14 fence posts. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we're probably going to need more ammo. Uh, yeah. Let's grab that now. Well, there we go. We've got... Ammo in the turret if we get to wire them. Ever. Probably not going to wire them tonight, to be honest. Don't think I have enough juice in the generator. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's actually perfect. That's how many we need. All right, great. Let's just get all these individually wired up. So they're not daisy chained. Then we can just do this. Get them all wired up like this. So we can get these back in place for where the fence posts are, or where the dart traps are going to be. Just enough power for just the fence posts. So yeah, we're certainly not doing the turrets tonight, but that's fine. But just to stop the zombies being annoying, I want to do this. Just to stop them trying to crawl through. Uh, right, okay. I think that's everything set up there. We just need to probably craft the door. That'd be good. Door. Let's grab some more ammo from over here quickly while we can for the old AK. Right, we're really cutting it fine, but I think hopefully we'll be okay. I'll get you in there. Bring you in there. Bring you down. Get you there. Oh, there's a big gap there. Okay, just cover that up. Turn the generator on and away we go. All right, nice. Let's get that turned right down, shall we? 
And this is it. Easy pickings for us. I haven't brought any Nurtat, so there's that. Just got to try and take care of those cops when they appear like that. I wish I had my auto turret set up, you know? Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Almost wish I'd mined a lot of lead and just placed the uh, regular turrets up there. Let's have a look, though. So, oh, these aren't the last ones in the line, are they? These are. We just need to make sure we're doing this. And we're golden. There's not much they can do about it. But that to pick up any stragglers. Look at this, powerful. They're just stuck here, aren't they? Now imagine if I had all my dart traps set up and my auto turrets and I could just clear them out quickly. That's the next phase of this, which will be done by next Horde Knight. This is just the bare bones. If I had my nerds out, I'd probably just let them run up to me. I still need to turn that down. It's just so loud. I'll repair that. Quick, before the cup blows. Oh, there it goes. Couldn't do anything about that. I was just stuck in a reload animation. But as you can see, it's working as intended. Take your pick of who you want to shoot. So many of them. Yeah, if that spider starts poking his head through there, the turret should take care of it. Oh, wow, look at this. Have I got any range stuff on me at all? Any, um... No. Like molotovs or grenades or anything. Do you know what I could do? If I really wanted to. Do this. I haven't got much uh, ammo for them, though, so that'll only last so long. What have we got here? Uh, these take 15 of power. I was going to see if I could just wire up one of these um, turrets quickly. Sticking a reload, so he's probably going to go now. Oh no, we actually got that one. Nice. Is that the second time this has needed repairs? Such a weak little gun to still have. This seem like machine guns are harder to get to, you know. Like M60s and whatever. See that sham chowder? We're pretty hungry. Oh, there goes another cop. So we are at game stage 127, so this is a pretty a kind of mid-game horde right here. It does boost it in the desert. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Let's uh, quickly make sure these are topped off because they are looking a bit worse for wear, some of them. Very good. This item needs repairs yet again. The AK is not having a good time. We're on a 35,000 XP streak right now. Look at that. Fifty thousand XP at the bottom right. Beautiful. I think we must be due some repairs here. Absolutely. Oh, a feral white there. The first one of them we've had in Horde Night. What we might have to see if we can't hook these up quickly because um, we're going to struggle. That has the maximum number of connections. You're kidding me. Uh, all right, switch then. What a pain. Do that for a second. I need to do something here. Decommission you. Get you to you. You to you. 
turn you on and likewise you to you Just need a little bit of help here there we go that's what we needed some auto turrets shut up vultures but I do get the max XP you possibly can with advanced engineering luckily Yeah, that's much better with these things. The only problem is, they haven't got that much ammo. Oh, this one's not even firing. Probably need to decommission another one of these. Show me. Yeah. Really struggling here. Uh, another one. Yes, now the SMG turret's getting involved. That's nice. In theory, anyone who kind of makes it over here can just be smacked with a stumper some. All right, pretty successful horde night, I'd say. Still a couple of stragglers coming in, but I think we've beat it. Yeah, so we just need another engine, really. Well, we need another generator, probably, and set up all the dart traps, lots more engines, but... Cool. Turn you off, turn you off. So this is a great foundation for a horde base. You know, that wasn't optimal there, because... We still had a lot of work to do on it. We need to get all the dart traps in, we need more engines, more power, all that sort of stuff, but... Yeah, pretty happy with that. Keep a couple of stacks of these on this, shall we? For day to day. Looks like they did a pretty good number on this block here for some reason. But other than that, it looks pretty sweet. Just make sure no loot bags glitched out to the side. Another good thing about this is it keeps all the loot bags very much contained in one area. If you're interested in the loot we got for Horde Night, pause the video, have a look. Read our vehicle adventures, the spiring book, and the rifle and forge ahead. All right, great. Let's read Taylor's treasure map. This is all stuff that can stay here. Let's go sort this stuff out back at home. All right, that's us sorted out. So I would just like to say thank you so much for joining me. Really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do let me know by leaving a like down below. If you're new here and you're enjoying the content, why not subscribe today? A big special thank you to Team25 who support this channel via Patreon and via YouTube channel memberships. Thanks so much, guys. And as well, a big shout out to the Twitch community who support over there. If you want to catch a stream, details are on screen now. And you can catch the replays at not only 2Live under the Feature Channel section. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.